Hey everyone, thank you for watching today's video. Today we're going to be talking about the process. Stay tuned. I'm so glad that you're watching with us today. Today is Testimony Tuesday. But not only is today Testimony Tuesday, today is September 1st. This means that we have a few short months before 2020 is a wrap. Today I was reading 1 Samuel chapter 16, and this is the story when David gets anointed by Samuel. Now, as we all know, Samuel was sent by God to anoint the next king. When Samuel came up to the point where it was time for him to anoint the king, he actually went through a few before he actually found David. So he sent an invitation to Jesse and his sons, and when Jesse came, Samuel went to, uh, to anoint Eliab and the Lord was like, no, I have not chosen him. Then he called forth Abinadab and God was like, nah, it's not him either. Next, he called Shemiah and the Lord was still like, nah, it ain't him either. So Samuel got to the point where he was like, yo, do you have any other sons? Because none of these are the Lord's chosen. And then Jesse says, yeah, I have the youngest one, but he's outside watching the sheep and the goats. So they called for him, he came forth. Soon as David came in, the Lord confirmed his word and said, yes, he's the next king. And Samuel went to anoint him. I'm saying all this to say that sometimes we feel like we've missed God, right? Especially because if you've been praying in the beginning of the year, you started off strong. There are so many things you're believing for, so many things you're praying for, so many things you're declaring, decreeing, but yet and still you have not seen the manifestation of those things, right? but you're seeing the manifestation of those things in the lives of other people. So the same things that you're praying for is happening for everybody else. Like David, I'm pretty sure David felt like he was missing out. I'm pretty sure David kind of felt forgotten or maybe discouraged at times. Everybody's inside chilling and he's outside watching the sheep and the goats. But what David didn't know is that God was preparing him for this very moment, but it doesn't stop there. After he was anointed by Samuel and God told Samuel, man looks on the outer appearance, but he looks on the heart. David is known as a man after God's own heart. So I'm sure that through that process of him being out there with the sheep and the goats, feeling neglected, maybe feeling forgotten, he was being prepared, right? All right. So we all know that David fights Goliath. David goes through a lot of things, right? He even goes through a stint where Saul tries to kill him. So from the time that David gets anointed by Samuel until the time he actually is ruling and reigning as king, there's a few years that goes and pass between this point and this point. I'm saying this because the Bible says this perfectly. And I'm going to share it with you. Matthew 20 verse 16, it says, So the last shall be first and the first shall be last. For many are called, but few are chosen. Remember, Samuel called forth Eliab, he called forth Abinadab, he called forth Shemiah, but none of them were God's chosen. David was God's chosen. And so between the time where he received the anointing and the time he actually started to rule and reign as king, he went through a lot. And like I said, he could have felt last many, many times, but I don't want us to neglect the process. Right now, I know it's September. I know it's the first of the month and you're like, God, <laughs> hey, I'm over here. Like, what's up? You know, beginning of the year, we declared, we decreed. I've been praying. I've been fasting. I've been doing everything you've been asking me, but still I have not seen the fruit of what I've been asking for. But I want you to understand that God knows exactly where you are. You're not forgotten. You're not inadequate. You are not worthless. You are very much worthy for what God has in store for you. But he has to take us through a process. And a lot of things in life, I was not first. I was not first to get a degree out of all my friends. I was not first to get my first car out of all of my friends. I was not first to land my dream job out of all of my friends. I was not first for a lot of things. But when the time came where God actually gifted me those things and I started seeing the fruit of those things, I 
held those things at a different standard. I cared for those things and I, and I steward those things at a different standard because I appreciate them. I had to go through certain things in order for me to be a good steward of what he finally gave me. So even though today is September 1st and there's a few short months before the year is over, the year is not over yet. I want to encourage you that just like David, we have to keep pressing and keep believing. He never lost heart. He went through his highs. He went through his lows, but he continues seeking out the Lord. I want to share this scripture with you that encouraged me this morning. And it is Psalm 84, 11 through 12. I'm going to share it with you in an amplified version because again, it hits a little different. For the Lord God is the sun and shield. The Lord bestows grace and favor and honor. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, how blessed and greatly favored is the man who trusts in you, believing in you, relying on you, and committing himself to you with confident hope and expectation. Let's take, uh, uh, um, let's take note from this scripture. We need to continue believing God, relying on God, committing ourselves to God, and be confident with so much hope and expectation. Don't not expect those things because you don't see them yet. Remember, we walk by faith and not by sight. And I'm not saying I've already passed all those tests and I'm already above all those things. Listen, we all have our moments. But this is why we have the word to encourage ourselves to know like, you know what? It's not over until God says it's over. And it is so true. So whatever you're believing for, whatever you're waiting for, Keep believing for it. Keep praying for it. You know, keep agreeing with others that you should, that God has um, allowed you to share this word with because he will, it will come God to pass. God is not a man that he should lie or the son of man that he shall repent. So this video is to encourage you through David's testimony. Listen, he probably was like 15 when he got anointed and wasn't until his 30s until he started ruling and reigning. I'm not saying it's going to be so many years before you get what God has for you. But I'm wanting to say that is the attitude of which we wait that makes the biggest difference. I hope this resonates with you. I love you all. Have a very blessed month. And even so, have an even better rest of your year. Bye.